I have got a, a coordinate and I'm waiting for it to load on my Google Maps so I can tell you where it right. is. Right. So I'll just keep heading out on this for now because we it was meant to land um, somewhere in Hampshire it was meant to land so mm-hmm. hopefully once you get that up hopefully we're still going in the right direction. So right now it is saying that it is uh, halfway between Basingstoke and Winchester. Great. So can you head in that direction? Yeah, okay. I'll keep going on this for now. Um, when we get a little bit closer, let me know what it's looking like. Yeah. What What kind of area does it look like? Is well, it? Well, it's kind of just off like, it is quite close to a road, uh-huh. which is a good sign. But, yeah. And in countryside. Great. So I mean, I don't know what, what that area is going to be like. Could be, it could be a farm again. Could be a farm, mm-hmm. yeah. Hopefully, um, hopefully it's not a tree again. It's good that it's not on a road. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be just as good. Okay. Gets better every time really. Go for it. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So over the past few months we've been travelling all around the country and we've been launching weather balloons to try and get as close to space as we can. And the reason we've been launching weather balloons is because it's to mark the beginning of a 10 year project that we're doing um, called A Decade with Mars which is all about space travel and the future. So, well, the balloons, um, we fill them with helium Mm -hmm. and then they travel up to about 100,000 feet and then they burst and then they parachute back down and then we have been going to find them wherever they land, which in some cases has been about 70 miles away from where we launched them Mm -hmm. from. Come and hold this box. You can come and hold. Look, we're going to let go of it together. Do you want to come and hold it? And we're going to, the balloon's going to go up so people can start to Okay, let right, go. you can start to gradually let go. Okay. Woo! Oh my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> and then we're going to do a countdown. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one. Last one! It looks like a giant moss wound. It yeah. does, yeah. It is an egg. It is an egg. You're going to wait, look at it. You're going to wait for the light to it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, it's going up and up. Look, it's getting smaller and smaller. Oh, So now we have to go and find it. No, we're going to go try and find it now. In about two hours. It goes an hour and a half to the top yeah, yeah. and half an hour down. It's meant to land near Winchester. Yeah. How many? It's filming yeah. it. We've been to uh, Hull, Hull, Bristol, Bath, London, London, uh, Lancaster, Le- yeah, and Leeds. And Leeds, yeah, That's six. And in each place that we've been, we've spent a whole week getting to know different people that live in that place. We've been doing that by doing workshops with primary school children and also talks to different community groups. 
and we yeah the community groups that we visited in each city um, well there are loads of like really different kinds of people so mm. we went to WI groups um, rotary clubs mm. um, youth clubs youth clubs um, uh, coffee mornings mm -hmm. for older women at community centres um, or uh, senior learner groups at universities yeah and then at the end of the week we have invited everyone to their local park to come and help um, reach near space so it's really about it being a thing that all of these people who live in a place can come and and do together mm. and and help with um, that it's not just us in charge of the event and, and sending something to space that it's really for everyone to be part of mm -hmm. Oh, let's get the full group in. So, do you want to tell me the name of the rocket? Best team slash devil. And how high is it going to go? We're really, 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 really high. Higher than the last one? Probably. You're not sure? Okay. Uh, we met children who were seven to ten years old in primary schools across the country. We did workshops with them before the weather balloon launch to get them excited just about launching and start to make them think about space travel and the future and the idea of doing a 10-year project. So we built bottle rockets with the children um, and then they tested out launching them to see how high they went and to see, to get excited about um, sending this, this much bigger thing um, to space from the park on the weekend. And then we also did stuff where we thought about the future with them. So um, some children wrote letters to themselves in the future. They thought about what they might be doing um, in 10 years' time, by which time they'd be 18 or 19 or 20. And they thought about what the world might be like. to make something that was for everybody and um, we've been interested in space for well since we started working together um, and what we've what we found from taking the beginning of this project to lots of different places is that the idea of space or traveling into space is exciting for everyone, for, for loads of different people. Um, may, maybe it's because um, the idea of, of looking, looking up and then looking back on yourself on Earth um, helps you think about your place in the universe and, and how small we are and and what we've got here on planet Earth. 